Good morning and good afternoon and good evening to my lovely audience. Today, I have the huge privilege to host my um, dear Kelly Kingston, whom is an energy awakening educator. She's as well a mom, a wife. She's as well a life a changer, a global leader and transformator. Today, so you are here with Veronica Seban. I'm the owner and founder of Business Power Academy and the Global Talk Show. And today, so I have invited our special guest, Kelly Kingston from Australia. Um, and Kelly has created something very very special for very for many women around the globe but as well for people who are struggling with emotions and people who want to transform the life and have a mission in this life uh, dear kelly i would love to ask you the uh, next question what is the biggest challenge of your life? Wow. Veronica, I just want to say thank you so much for having me um, on your talk show. Um, I'm so excited and honored to be here with you. Now, that's a very big question. So um, what was, oh my gosh, there's been so many. Um, it would probably have been when I was in a, a very um, bad domestic violence relationship where, um, oh my gosh, I haven't actually shared this on social media before. So um, the most, yeah, difficult time in my life was probably having to escape that domestic violence um, situation where I was um, manipulated on so many different levels. I was uh, locked in a room. Um, I was not allowed to leave the house. Um, I wasn't, um, yeah, I, I, I wasn't even allowed to speak on some days. Um, it was, a situation that I found myself in that I felt I was only young. Um, I was 22 and uh, and we were dating for around about three years. And so I thought I loved him. And then that love kind of came into some aspects of ownership um, on from his behalf. And he was a, a very... Um, big man and used to do security at casinos and yeah and and one day I um I kind of got a little bit brave and stuck up for myself and I ended up uh being punched in the face several times and put in choker uh choker holds around my neck and um knocked out and so I, feel, I, 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 from recollection, from what I can actually remember, because I think I've blocked a lot of this out now, um, he was off to work and left the door unlocked to our bedroom. And so I was able to actually um, grab my keys, my bag and a backpack and race down, got in my car and like I looked myself in the rear vision mirror and I was unrecognizable and then um, drove an hour and a half to my sister's house and there I stayed um, for a little bit and then she called the ambulance and then I was in hospital for 10 days. Wow. So uh, I must say that I uh, feel related to your uh, life story experience and I'm uh, very grateful that you have the courage uh, for sharing uh, such emotional uh, experience because I know that it's very very hard sometimes 
uh, to unveil something which is, I mean, the deep emotions that they are rooted deeply inside of you. And sometimes it's very hard to even to remember uh, those emotions and this experience. Uh, so, and I feel so a huge respect towards you because you have the courage to do that. Not everyone has the courage to share so a such story because it's um, it's very very intense emotionally seen. But today we are here to inspire and motivate uh, women uh, like you, like me. Uh, to find the courage out and to move forward, to don't let, let himself to be manipulated, but to the opposite, to wake up because so you are an awakening energy educator. So with a mission to help the, the women to wake up from uh, that manipulative uh, journey uh, when we sometimes don't, don't even know that we are manipulated. So my next question to you is, uh, tell us more about your experience because I see that you are as well an award-winning uh, lady and a global film producer. So it made me very, very curious. <laughs> um, yes, so I uh, won three different um, international women's business awards um, with the International Stevie Awards uh, presented to me in New York and flew to New York in 2017 for my awards and it was one of the most incredible um, experiences that um, I've ever experienced as a um, entrepreneurial international businesswoman. So um, that was very exciting. And then um, the film producer, I uh, in 2016, I bought a business called Inspired Living Events. And that was a, um, a film documentary uh, business where you could present documentaries, real life documentaries to support um, changes and experiences that are happening in real life, um, you know, around the world, anywhere around the world. And so I used to do film nights once a, once a, uh, no, once a month and then um, have different experienced educators on stage after the film nights and we used to do q a sessions and so um i got uh friendly with a filmmaker out of la and uh i premiered one of his films and documentaries here in australia and then i raised some money to actually bring him to australia uh for one of his other films that he hadn't finished yet to uh um be part of that so he actually I, I supported him in completing the end of two of his film documentaries one was called the cure healing the mind healing the body healing the planet and the other one was called we the people the revolution and uh that was a really awesome experience because not only was I you know um offered a producer's position um, in these documentaries. I actually worked alongside Sharon Stone, the film, uh, the, the movie star. And there were other people that were actually in the documentary like uh, Mark Wahlberg, um, Oprah Winfrey, uh, John claude Van Damme, and uh, uh, Margaret, um, uh, I can't remember the other lady's name, but there was there was a heap of them, and so it was a really really awesome experience uh, to um, bring him to Australia and um, showcase him here. 
Wow, so you surprised me really in a very, <laughs> very exciting way. It's incredible. <laughs> and yeah. it's terrifying. So you have a such powerful background and an incredible talented lady. Do you know what catches my attention that the most the most talented uh, women across the world, they are unfortunately experiencing um, very, very bad experiences, emotionally seen. Mm -hmm. And so I'm very, very grateful that you have ever found the courage to transform yourself, especially so your internal world, because it's there about. And also, I would love to ask you my next question. What uh, was the super excited ever moment in your life? That you have discovered something and you said, wow, so that you didn't even expect it. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so um, I had four children. And um, for three of them, I could not have a natural birth. The doctors and the medical system said, no, you cannot have natural birth. You have to have a cesarean. And I've gone, okay, okay. And so I just listened and I just thought, you know, I was just never going to be that mum that could actually give birth naturally. And so for my fourth pregnancy, I defeated the system and went against all the odds and I ended up having um, my daughter who is now eight um a with a natural birth after three cesareans um at home with my doula so oh. that was my most a surprising amazing experience that I never thought that I could do Oh my gosh, this is even more stupefying than, than your first achievement. But it uh, so this is telling us about your uh, powerful mind and about your powerful belief in mm -hmm. universal, in God, but as well in yourself. So you have an incredible inner radiance which is so, so special, I, I must say. And so now I would love to, to know more because so you make so curious me, it's incredible <laughs> that I want to discover more and more and to know more and more about you. How about the energy awakening education? How did you came up? So to this idea to, and as well to to create so your current company yeah okay thank you um so my current company is called happy and well which you can see here yeah. and um i wanted to create uh, a healing and wellness ecosystem that gave back to um our community and our society and our world that we're uh in this ever-changing cycle of life and as an ever-changing aspect of life we have changes happening all around us but we are never educated knowing how to make these changes and so um, I created literally something that I needed for myself 15 years ago and um, as I was stumbling through um, my life, trying to make positive changes and release what no longer served me to then call in what did serve me so that I could then live my true purpose um, on point and really, really flourish from, from my heart um, in an authentic, truthful and, and, and valuable space. So um around about four years ago I um had this really hairy audacious goal to put my first book together which is called um naked oops yeah now I can see that naked you can see that uh, naked, oh that's the funny naked thing skin deep. yes naked skin deep yeah and um, so I started writing that book and that book is my own self-healing journey. And so uh, going through the aspects of 
creating the book and 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 bringing that to life i i then created a vegetarian meal guide i then created a journal i then created a deck of cards which are the icu cards and this is supporting releasing what no longer serves you to call in and receive what does serve you and these cards are pretty special because these cards are the 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 tool that will support you making one change a day with one word at one percent for 42 days these cards i called the icu cards because they have a mirror you wow. can see that wow Wow. Yeah. And in these card deck packs, there's 42 cards, but there's 21 in each deck. So for releasing, we have 21 cards and 21 cards. And then we have 21 words. And so for each day that you need to be able to be supported in making changes, you pick out one card out of the, out of the card deck pack. And you look at yourself in the mirror, or you look at yourself in the mirror, and then you repeat the mantra that's written on the front of the card. I see you, I hear you, I feel you, I acknowledge you, I love you. And then you turn the card over and uh, you have one word and your word is in integrity. Integrity. Um, you feel the feeling of integrity within your body. You acknowledge the feeling of integrity in your body and then you then go through the process of where is that feeling sitting? Where am I not being sitting in integrity within myself and how can I then make those changes? And so on the cards, it's it has some acknowledgements that support you feeling the feelings and knowing what you already know that you just need to be reminded about and then putting action into play. And so what I mean by action into play is mean when we're when we're releasing, we need to put it somewhere. So I created the journal alongside Naked Skin Deep, write and release. So anything at any point in our life where we feel that we're out of alignment or we need to get back into balance with ourselves, whatever, whatever that looks like for that particular person, because um, I, I'll just quickly touch on this point here because it's really, really important. When we were, when we unleash the issues in our tissues to balance our masculine and feminine energies, today I might be seventy percent feminine and thirty percent masculine, um, but tomorrow I could be the, you know, the other way around. I could be thirty percent in my feminine and seventy percent in my masculine. So it's it's not a balancing of 50-50 of feminine and masculine. It's what's happening on that day that you are then feeling, oh my gosh, yeah, okay. I, 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 I know that I'm out of integrity with not speaking my truth. Yeah. So, so I need to be more conscious and aware of what words are coming out of my mouth and how I'm speaking um, to others, but not necessarily um, just speaking to others, how I speak to myself as well. So that is one of the most critical things that when we're making changes, we find ourselves in self-doubt, self-worth, mm -hmm. uh, worthless, and, and going, you know, uh, who am I to make these changes in my life, you know, um, all those different types of things. So and that's when I created the um, the jewelry range that I'm wearing today. Um, and then there's there's 13 different crystals uh, to support uh, mm -hmm. a, a different person that is wanting to resonate at a different crystal frequency vibration um, as they're going through their their self healing. And um, if I might, I might just. Um, share with you the um the reason why the jewelry was created was that when we actually embark on a journey we 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 don't need to necessarily be accountable to other people 
because we're not changing for other people we're changing for ourselves and that's where the inner work needs to be like really really intensely looked at and we can't do all the changes in one day and that's why we only concentrate on one word one percent one day for 42 days and so uh, the agreement to honor self and speak your truth is this agreement is made on this day for the purpose of increasing personal freedom and love for life i am totally responsible for creating my own dreams of heaven on earth and it begins with the honoring of my word i choose to honor my word and i promise to speak with integrity and to choose my words carefully that i speak about myself and to others i intend to use the power of my word for truth and love and i will take action every day to keep my word in honor with my agreement i will repeat this action until the new habit is firmly established and no longer requires my attention and so the symbol of my commitment to this agreement is the jewelry so that when you put the jewelry on it is a beautiful reminder for you to stay in your truth and to honor your word uh, each and every day and when you don't and you step back into an old habit or you 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 know you hear that um i'm not worthy why are you doing this you're stupid or or whatever the words are that you know that come creeping in you can hold your beautiful jewelry and forgive yourself instantly for allowing that process to happen and then move on so that and 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 the beautiful thing about this is that you you don't have to dwell we don't have to dwell in thinking that oh my gosh i can't do this this is too hard it's 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 a process and and you know when habits are created habits are created over um months and years and decades and ancestral patronages and and you know stuff we pick up from people that have raised us um so we just need to be really gentle on ourselves really slow down but keep going so thank you so much for uh, such valuable information because i think that there are many many women out there but as well so um children even because the, we have um many many uh, vulnerable families you know that they need our stories they need our motivation but as well our insight and what a such insight which is incredible powerful because you know um you give me the feeling to be in a coaching session and not on a global talk show with very very specific details of of transformation and now i would love to ask you um more about what has been an awakened moment in your life that you um, have made a decision for transformation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I feel that that would be um, when I, I, I was finding it really hard to kind of know what choices to make in my life and I and I had three children at this particular point in time and um, I found myself in another toxic relationship nowhere near as bad as the first one when I was 22 but I still was in a toxic relationship and had a child um, and the toxicity was not physical it was mental and verbal abuse and at this particular point in time I uh I was crying every day in day out day in day out why is this happening to me you know I'm a good person I don't deserve this all these things you know just kept on reoccurring 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 
And so um, not having, uh, not, not being mentally stable at this particular point in time, I, I needed to make a change. I just didn't know what change. And so I woke up one Saturday, uh, no, was it? A, yeah, one Saturday morning and I knew where I would love to move to. Um, but I just didn't know what direction I needed to go or, or whatever that was. And so what I did is I printed out a map of that particular area and I, I just gave my faith, gave, gave everything over to faith, faith within the divine, faith within source, faith within um, God. I just handed that faith over. And so then I closed my eyes and then I said to myself, where there is a the, the closest school to where my finger ends up on this sheet of paper, uh, that's where I'm moving. And so I, I closed my eyes, I w wiggled my finger around and I placed it down on the piece of paper and I opened my eyes. And um, uh, two days later, I drove out to that little country town and had a look at some rental properties out there. And... Uh, signed up for a rental property that day on the Tuesday and then was accepted on that property on the Thursday and moved out a week later. Wow. Oh my gosh. So um, from, from this um, shared experience, uh, what I feel that you um, always have followed your powerful intuition which is is amazing mm -hmm. because not many of us so uh, are aware of the fact that we should follow our intuition uh, i'm calling this um, the inner voice which is calling us you know to follow that uh, and to believe first of all in our inner voice yeah um, definitely my next question to you is, could you um, tell us how a trauma is playing tricks on our behavior, emotions, and in making decisions? Uh, I mean, something that we have experienced from the past, hmm. but it's still playing tricks in our uh, behavior. It's conditioning us without knowing uh, and i know that there are really many many people out there that they are really struggling with with their emotions with making decisions uh, to build even a business to move forward to build up relationships and we are not aware of it yeah the, yes uh, so... aware of of the internal blocks yes yeah, so we're talking about the unconscious and conscious traumas within us that stops us from moving forward. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to like when we are children. Okay, so this is this is a um a a, a place where we just are raised by our mom, our dad, both of our parents, either one of our parents um, from a, you know, a separation in the family or step parents or uh, foster parents or, or whatever it is. And so being so vulnerable and being in a space and being so young, I feel that we take on um, those other aspects of uh, the people that are raising us and and then they then come into our and sometimes we don't even think about it um it's just there um and and I, I I'm struggling to explain that a little bit but I'll, I'll I'll keep talking and um through that so when we as children are seeing our parents fight or um, other people are fighting and, and there's that fear factor, we, we, we have this feeling of, oh, my gosh, I don't want to be here. 
okay and then that is then attached into our memory into ourselves into our, our tissues under our skin and and those feelings are, are, are there and so sometimes when we actually are, are walking down the street and we may not be associating ourselves with a group of people or a person or someone we we feel that feeling okay and that's the unconscious feeling of going or oh, we, we don't know what that situation is we don't know that person but we're feeling the feeling around oh my gosh i need to go the other way and so i feel that uh holding on to um unconscious traumas that we are not conscious of is one of the most hardest things to break out of especially when we're not conscious of it at that particular point in time and by making changes even like like I said one percent one day one word that supports bringing back the layers peeling back the layers and once you start peeling back one layer you peel back two layers and then three layers and four layers and five layers and that unconscious trauma is then coming to the surface because as you're releasing uh every all these emotions and things are starting to flow um you you then uh, i feel from my own personal experiences that you, you eventually get to those unconscious uh feelings and unconscious traumas that then go oh my gosh where did that come from holy moly that has affected me so badly i thought i was over that i i didn't know that that there was still more trauma and then it, it, it just becomes layer upon layer upon layer upon layer and so i feel that you know change is just um it, it's it's like anything the the, the our world is ever changing um our, our businesses are ever changing and uh it's you know the grass grows it changes the trees leaves fall off they grow again they have some um have fruit on them some don't have fruit on them everything is changing but as a human race or as sovereign beings people don't want to change they are so scared of that change and that aspect of change and that if you don't change or don't start to make changes in your life you're going to get left behind on so many different levels so what I've created in Happy and Well allows the aspect of supporting, peeling back the layers and being guided and being supported through that whole process so that you can then stick, dig deep and get all those unconscious traumas, all those conscious traumas out in the air so that you can then feel so much freer, feel so much lighter, and know that there's life on the other side of that heaviness wow uh it's very very intense and very very powerful uh, because i noticed as well so the tricks of my past uh i'm calling this in nlp um the these are uh, it, it's a curative conditioning uh from our past and unconscious traumas and i'm paying so being an nlp practitioner i'm paying close attention uh, to the uh, conditioning of the unconscious uh, trauma and i work at it but it's hard it's very tricky so you need really a lot of knowledge um to lead yourself you know to manage your emotions and as well so to to be aware of what is going on right now so what i'm acting like this so in a such way and know the way how i really am so and i'm I'm talking about the cognitive uh, conditioned unconscious trauma because like about 
90% of the global population, they are ever in their life experiencing so uh, such trauma and unconsciously so it's reflecting in our behavior world. and maybe people who are hearing us they can maybe you know uh, enroll to your uh, coaching programs maybe they can apply for your courses or maybe they can go to me to uh, remove so these feelings because what the people don't understand that they are associating their feeling with their past experience so yeah. what we what we uh, have inside of us is only the feeling and the memories for now so i want to thank you from the depth of my heart it has been really an astonishing talk show with so so many gold and so insights and golden nuggets and i have learned as well so in between uh, from you <laughs> um, thank you <laughs> yes and uh, i want to to do an announcement for um, our audience because this evening my time zone at 6 p.m i'm gonna host a master class which i called crush your goals in 2023 which it's a stupefying, really, masterclass with many, many insights. With the GPA model, which I created to give so many insights to people and global leaders, change makers, and transformators who want to transform the world and to make this world a better place but as well so to get guidance for yourself in your journey uh, mm. creating a plan a routine you know and setting goals with intention uh, in yeah. my opinion this is very very powerful when we are setting goals with intentions and we when we have a, a crystal clear plan um you know a roadmap to follow um, to, towards our goal, because without a plan and uh, an intention, goal, we cannot achieve what we want. For now, I want to thank you again so much gratitude and appreciation for your presence, uh, for your talent, and as well for your insights. And then I see you this afternoon um so during the master class take yes yes uh, thank you thank you so much veronica i'll see you at my 3 a.m <laughs> yes wow so do you have the last message for for our audience what would you like to to tell to them on advice yeah. anything yeah thank you so for me uh when I was going through and feeling like, you know, oh my gosh, it's getting hard, it's getting hard. And and I and and I'm and I'm, you know, reminding myself and motivating myself and inspiring myself by writing positive affirmations on all my windows with chalk pens and, and all that kind of stuff. I really hold on to the faith. The faith, faith, it got me through uh pretty well much the whole aspects every single day of believing in myself, knowing that I can, that I have the ability to make these changes. Nobody else can do this for me. No doctor, no practitioner, no therapist, no mother, no father. Nobody can do these changes for you. You have to do these changes for yourself. And so when I held that faith, I'm sort of like that got me through. Wow very very yeah. powerful so take care uh, i wish you a wonderful evening together with your uh, family with your husband and see you so um tomorrow for you it will be tomorrow <laughs> yeah it will be <laughs> there it has been a talk show yeah thank you